It's such a simple game, but let's play it. It's war. So many variations on the game. There actually isn't a right way and a wrong way to play. I'm going to play it with two players, as you see right in front of me. There's 52 cards in the deck. It's been shuffled. It's been passed out. 26 cards for me on the bottom. 26 cards for the person I'm playing on the top. You can play with as many players as you want. And essentially, one at a time, you flip over your top card. The highest card wins all the cards that are face up. It's that simple. And then you keep going until somebody's out of cards. Let's go ahead and just start playing war. I flip over my card. I win. The opponent had a two. I flip over the next card. I win again. Opponent had a seven. I had a queen. Next card, they win. And they get to keep my four. And we keep going. King, I win. And what I like about this particular app is, besides it being free, it shows you the number of cards you have left. They have 24 cards left. I have 28 cards left. And I'm going to keep going. Now, why do we call it war? Well, we call it war because if we flip over and we both have the same number or face card, then it's, you know, it's essentially a tie. Well, actually, they call it war and I'm going to ex we're going to go to war soon. Some people even play with jokers. I don't particularly like to play with jokers. Uh-oh, our first war. So the way it works is we have the same card. We then go ahead and lay down three cards face down and then flip over a card. And the face up card of that is the winner and keeps all of the cards on the table. And actually you amass a decent number of cards. And the truth is that's kind of how you win this game. Now I've got 29 cards. My opponent has 23. Well, he's slowly winning back all the cards very slowly. He now has 27 and I have 25. Good thing I had won that war because I had a lot of cards up there. And I just keep going. One thing about war is that you can play it for a long time. And it doesn't take a lot of brain power. You can sit there and have conversations with your friend about the day. War. One, two, three face down, one face up. I win. I've got the king. So I take that and I get to keep all of these cards. Yay. Look at that. Now it puts me way ahead. The more wars you get, the more cards you get, the easier it is to win. But one of the f interesting things about war is that you can play for a long time. Oh, another war of aces. One, two, three. And, oh, my partner wins. My you know, opponent wins. He wins my ace. 31 cards. Actually, it's another war. Here we go. And, the, by the way, the best way to do it is have really good cards face down. I won that jack. What do I win? I win his six. I win his eight. I win his ten. Would have loved to have won his aces, but what are you going to do? Really, the only way an ace changes hands in this entire game is if there's an ace war. So if you can get all four aces, then there's almost no, it may take a long time, but there's almost no way you're going to lose. And by the way, if you get to the bottom of your pile and you, you just reshuffle and keep going. Another war. Come on, let me win this one. I did. And did I get an ace from him? I, I got one of his aces. I got one of his fives. I got one of, oh, I got one of his nines. It's only a 41 cards. He only has 40. He has 10 cards left. Oh, now he has nine cards. Come on. I know one of them's an ace. I've got one of his aces. Come on. Okay. Eight cards left. He's got seven cards left. He's got six cards left. Come on. Now he's down to five cards. Ugh. The downside of war is that it's a really long game and it never ends. The upside of war is that it's a really simple game. You could be three years old and play it. And that's how to play war, folks. Hope you enjoyed this game. If you want to know who won, look at the comments. I'll write in the answer. Bye, guys.